If you want to learn how to create short kid stories that pass AI detection tools with 100% human written content just like this and just like this, then stick around and watch today's video. Now, if you like this video, then I have another video which you might like just as much. That's this one just here. This is a Midjourney AI prompt crafting guide for colouring pages. So if you're interested in learning how to create amazing colouring pages with Midjourney, then I'll link this video down in the description below. So, this is the set of prompts that we're going to use to create our short kids stories. Now ideally this is for kids short stories or even bedtime stories and for certain age brackets. Now right here where you see these within the prompts is where you adjust the age range that you want these stories written for. And this is very, very important. You fully have to understand the demographic that you're going to be creating these stories for. Now, this is easy to find. If we come over to Amazon, we can type in short stories for, and then we can see. So there's kids, children, elderly, tweens, adults, elementary, kids, eight to 10, six to eight, 9 to 12. If we change this to bedtime stories, we can then see others. So, for one year old, 2 to 5, 1 to 3, 3 to 5. So again, it's very important that you fully understand who you're creating your stories for. Now, with that being said, I just want to say as well, with this set of prompts just here, which we're going to be using, I will leave a link to this page down in the description as well. That way you can come through and just copy and paste. And another thing is, ideally, these prompts are best suited for chat GPT-4. You can use them on the previous version of chat gpt but you're going to get a lot better results with chat gpt4 now what i've already gone ahead and done is gone through the process and inputted all of these prompts so i can get a story now the reason for doing this is chat gpt4 that's this one just here is pretty slow so if we look at the speed just here we can see it's only got a two speed compared to the default, which is pretty fast. So ChatGPT4 is extremely slow. So I've already gone through and created the story, but we're going to go through all of the process. Now, ChatGPT4 is also only available to members of ChatGPT+. So if you're already a paid subscriber, for ChatGPT, then you can go ahead and use version 4. So, let's go through all of these prompts which I've already inputted, and let me start explaining this and breaking this down. Again, the link for this and these prompts are going to be down in the description. And again, right here is where we're going to change the ages. So let's go over to here. First prompt, I want you to act like a children's short story writer with 30 years experience. I'm also going to ask you a series of questions. Do you understand? So what we're doing here is priming the AI so we get a lot better results. So it says, yes, he understands. Let's go ahead and input the rest. So then I asked it, what are the main components to a great bedtime story for kids ages three to five? Remember, the kids ages three to five is where we change the demographic depending on who we're creating the story for. Now, a great bedtime story for kids ages three to five should typically include the following components. Simple and engaging language, relatable characters, vivid and colourful illustrations. Now, this video isn't about illustrations, but we can do that within Midjourney, especially with now V5. But then there's a clear and straightforward plot, a gentle conflict or problem, a positive 
resolution, a soothing tone, age appropriate themes, a touch of humour and a gentle moral or message. So again, these are all components that ideally you want to have in your bedtime story or your short story aimed at kids three to five. Now, the next question which I asked it was, how many words is a short bedtime story for kids? And it says here, it can vary, but ideally it's 200 to 600 words. Again, this is all very important information that you want to know if you plan on creating kids' storybooks for three to five, or in this instance, a short bedtime story for kids ages three to five. I then asked it, and again, this is all within the prompts over here, but I then asked it, what are some popular themes for bedtime stories? Exclude fairy tales. Now, if you don't exclude fairy tales, it's going to give you some of them, which we don't want, obviously, if we're going to sell our stories. So, some of them are friendship, family, overcoming fears, kindness and empathy, imagination and creativity, nature and animals, adventure and exploration, personal growth and self-discovery, problem solving and teamwork, and cultural stories as well. Now this is very important to know and ask as well because we're going to create our stories around these themes. I then asked it for a list of 20 niches and I got all of these. Again, you want to ask for a list of niches so we can combine the niches with the themes to create our stories. Now, right here, I asked it some very important information, or I told it. Here are a few key points that I want you to consider when writing my kids' storybook. Interesting and varied language. The story includes relatable characters, important and teachable, the plot is captivating. The story has a beginning, middle and end, which again is very important for any type of story that you create. The setting is intriguing. Adults can enjoy a good children's book too. The story should be great to read aloud. Do you understand? It then says that it understands. And then this is where we start getting ideas for our stories. So I asked it, using all of the information above, can you create me 10 story ideas that involve friendship and sports? So I took the friendship and sports from the themes and niches up above. So combining these together, you're going to get lots of great ideas. Then I asked it, make them unique, easily remembered, easily pronounced, catches the reader's attention and also avoids confusion with other books. Write them for kids ages three to five. Now, if we go back over to here, this is the prompt just here. No, it's not. It's the one above. And you can see, so involve. And again, this is where you combined the niche and the theme. And then right here is where you put the age bracket of the demographic that you want to target. It then gave us a bunch of ideas. So we have the soccer star and the shy butterfly, Buddy's big breakfast, no, Buddy's big basketball dream, the swimming swan squad. We actually had some really great ideas here. Now, one thing that you want to do is not go ahead and use one of these stories just here. What you want to do is input another prompt where it's going to give you variations on these titles. Now, why are we doing this? Well, after inputting these prompts multiple times now, I mean, I've created something like 15 to 20 stories, but once you start inputting these, these prompts, you're going to see similarities or the same titles come up over and over again. So by using an extra prompt, which is this one just here, you're going to get variations on those titles, which you can then go ahead and use. So the prompt is, can you create me 10 bedtime story ideas that are similar to Racing Rainbow 
ribbons. So that's one of the titles from up here. So I've taken the titles and I've plugged it into here. Now if we go ahead and take a look at the prompt, that's this prompt just here. So right here is where you're going to put the title of the book that you want variations on. So we did that and now we have variations on that title. Dashing Daisy Chain Dash. Bit of a mouthful. The Marvelous Moonlight Marathon. Sounds pretty good. The Great Balloon Rally or Relay. The Silly Sock Sprint. Now I really liked this, so this is the one that we went with. Now another thing that you really want to do if you're going to start using these prompts or creating stories with AI, you want to take your title that you're going to use, come over to Amazon and just type that in. The Silly Sock Sprint. Now we can see nothing's auto-populating, which means there's no similar books. And if we click enter, we can look on the first page just to make sure that there's no books with that title. Because sometimes when you do this, you will find that there are similarities to other books, or it might even be the exact same title. Now, if that's the case, you obviously want to come back over to the AI and use a different title or a completely different book. But you do not want to miss that step. You can go one deeper and even go into Google and start researching there. But nonetheless, this is what we went with, the Silly Sock Sprint. So then I start getting the AI to create my story. The prompt is using the information above, write a short bedtime story for, and this is where you input the title, of the book that you want to create. Then it says use simple descriptive language, make it easy to read and make it funny. This is a short bedtime story for kids ages three to five. Again, if we go over to the prompts and come to just here, using the information above, this is the prompt, so that's where you'd want to input the title, and then you'd want to input the age range just there. Now, if we go back, we have the first version of our story. Now, this is not what we're going to go with. We are going to make variations, two variations, using a couple of different prompts. But nonetheless, this is actually a pretty good story. Now, if you were to take this and go and put it into originality.ai, you're not going to get 100% human written content. It might be fairly good, somewhere like 70 or 80, but eight times out of 10, you're not going to get that 100%. So, there's something else that we're going to do and input a couple of different prompts. Now, first of all, if you want to read this little story, go ahead, pause the video, have a read. I'll scroll down so you can read the rest just there. Now, the prompt is this. Ignore all previous instructions. I want you to act as a critic. Acknowledge this with a, this is just like a smiley face, or just a few dots. Now, this part of the prompt, I actually want to go ahead and give a shout out to this channel just here. This is all about AI. If you're not subscribed to him, go ahead, go through and subscribe. I am going to leave a link for this down in the description. But thanks to him and this video, I actually took the prompts which he shared and incorporated them into this ultimate story prompt. Now, why is that? Well, because now we're going to get the AI to critique the story so we can make improvements. Now, right here, it says critique the following story and convince me why it's not good. Let's think about the problems with the story step by step. Now, keep in mind, this is a short bedtime story for kids ages three to five. And then this is where we take the story from above and then we input that as well within the same prompt. So if we come over to here, this is the second part. We can see I've just put a little divider there so you can understand, but that's the ignore all previous instructions. And then right here, this is the prompt which we're going to input with the story underneath so we can get constructive criticism. Now, if we go back over to here, it's now told us 
where the problems are and what we can improve upon. So lack of conflict is one of them, limited character development, predictable outcome, simplistic language, lack of educational elements, and missed opportunities for humour. So from here, we then ask another prompt. Great points, rewrite the story and improve it based on your critique. Keep in mind that this is a short bedtime story for kids ages three to five. Now, I always put emphasis on who this story is for, because if you don't do that, it kind of tends to do its own thing. But now we have a second version of the story. Now, this one's pretty good as well, but with me personally, I like to run the critique prompt two times so we can really improve on that story. Now you can pause the video just here and have a little read as well. I'll scroll down a little bit more so you can finish it off. And then with that being said, I actually asked again to critique it one more time. So now we're going to critique the second version of the story. And this is what it's all about, just improving the story and making it better. By doing this, by asking the AI to critique it twice, is really going to improve the story. And this is what's going to help you create 100% human written content. So again, we've asked the same question, critique the following story, then we've inputted the updated version as well. And then it's given us more feedback. So forced conflict, limited character development, abrupt resolution, unclear message, passive language, and simplistic language as well. So great points, rewrite the story and improve it based on your critique. Now with this one, I wanted to keep the title, so I also put in the prompt, the silly sock, nope, I also put keep the same book title, the silly sock sprint surprise. And then this is our last version of the story and extremely good at that. Now I'm not going to read all of this, but let's just have a little tiny read. So it's called the Silly Sock Sprint Surprise. Now I have a couple more prompts in a minute, which we are also going to go through. And if you are enjoying this video and you like these prompts, then drop a comment down below letting me know. And if you do actually like them, give us a like and also subscribe as well if you already haven't. So, once upon a time in a cosy little forest, there lived a group of animal friends. They loved spending time together and always found new and exciting ways to have fun. One sunny day, Benny the Bear had a brilliant idea. Hey friends, let's have a race, but not just any race, a silly sock sprint, he announced with a big grin. So as you can see, this is actually a really good story, but again, you want to get ChatGPT to criticize your story, and you want to do that twice. So that's really going to improve your story. So that's the story that I went with. I then went over to originality.ai, plugged it in, and again we can see it's 100% original and 0% plagiarized. I've done this with multiple stories now, and we can see on this story, this was called Shooting Star Surprises. I got 100% original and 0% plagiarized. And then this one, this one I got 99% original, but 1% AI. Now that's something I can live with. That's still a really good score. But nine times out of 10 by running these prompts and then getting the AI to criticize your story and doing that twice, this works nine times out of 10. That one time out of 10, you might get a bit of a lower score. Now that's all of the story prompts, which I wanted to share. Again, they are going to be down in the description below, so you can go through and check them out. But I do also have a couple more prompts which I want to share with you, which is going to create the subtitles for your book, and then also the book blurb for the back of your book as well. So these are just here. Can you give me 10 ideas for book subtitles for, and this is where you're going to put the 
title of your book and then it says use any relevant information from the new story above to create the subtitles make them unique easily remembered easily pronounced and catches the reader's attention so if we come down to here we can see that just here i actually went with which one was it a tale of teamwork and silly socks so the book is called the silly sock sprint surprise tale of teamwork and silly socks i really like that but that's what i went with then with this prompt just here which is practically the last one which is if we come over to here can you create a short book blurb for and that's where you put the title and your subtitle and remember to put the age bracket as well so if we go back to here we can see that so it's the book title and then the age range and then it gives us a book blurb for the back of the book now don't just finish it there we can also get the ai to criticize this as well so that's what i did i inputted those previous prompts and changed a few little bits so there i want you to act as a critic and then instead of it saying story i changed it to book blurb and we still want to put in any relevant information so critique the following book blurb and convince me why it's not good let's think about the problem with the book blurb i know that says boob it's not supposed to it actually brings that up as well i've gone ahead and changed that over here in the prompts as well but then it gave us some recommendations on what we could improve for the book blurb and then i put great points rewrite the book blurb and then we were left with this so again this is the ultimate prompt that you can use for creating kids stories now there's a lot more cool stuff that you can do and i am probably going to make a lot more videos about this as well because then we can then take our story plug it into chat gpt ask it to break it up into 24 pages or however many pages that you want to create the book you can then ask it to extract all the characters from the book and give you a detailed description of each character as well which you can then go ahead and use in mid journey to create your illustrations there's just so much cool stuff that you can now do with ai now again if you liked this video go ahead and give me a like a thumbs up and all of that jazz now there's just one more thing before we end the video and that is if you do plan on creating and trying to sell your kids stories then what i recommend doing every time you create a story just put it into a document or wherever's easiest for you and then create a good 15 to 20 stories before even creating your book just build up a little library of stories that you have so you can actually create books and then just create the stories from what you believe to be the best books out of your little library of books so that's what i've been doing over this past four days or so i now have 15 to 20 stories which i think are actually really good they're not these ones just here this is just an example of how i'm putting my stories into a notepad or a document i have the title we then have the story and then down the bottom i also have the blurb where i do that so this way i have everything that i need for when i actually go and create the books but i highly suggest just going through the process using these prompts and just creating a lot of different stories before you even attempt to create the books and doing this is just going to help you get a better understanding of the demographic that you're creating your books for and you're going to get a better feel for what actually works as a short kids story book so again come through and check out these prompts they will be down in the description below and if you liked this video and want to see the rest of my ai videos then click right here and watch this playlist